Today we're going to test a reduced pressure principle backflow assembly with the Mako MK3 three valve test kit. Starting with test cock number four, go ahead and open that and leave it open, and then go to test cock number three, then two, and finally test cock number one. And then close test cock number one, then two, then three, and four. Verify your MK3 is turned on. Initiate the backlight button by toggling the power button. Clear any captured values by holding down the back button. And then go ahead and make sure that all the MK3 valves are closed before you proceed with the test. Connect the high side hose to test cock number two. Always connect the hose to the assembly using the fitting closest to the filter. This ensures that the filter is properly engaged in filtering any sediment or debris so that it doesn't get into the gauge. Next, connect the low side hose to test cock number three. Again, connect the hose to the assembly using the fitting closest to the filter so that previously filtered debris doesn't accidentally get flushed into your test gauge. Slowly open test cock number three fully. Open the bypass valve one full turn. Then open the low side valve and leave open. Next, you'll want to slowly open test cock number two fully. Then open the high side valve and leave it open. And we'll make sure that all the air is fully removed from our hoses and from our gauge. And close the number two shutoff valve. Now we'll go ahead and close the high side valve. Wait for the MK3 reading to stabilize. Then slowly close the low side valve. And finally close the bypass valve. This is the apparent differential pressure across the number one check valve. If the relief valve at this point doesn't open, record the reading by pressing the capture button. Open the high side valve approximately one turn. Slowly open the low side valve. When opening the low side control knob, turn it no more than one quarter of a turn. Place your thumb in position over the capture button. Watch the relief valve. Press the capture button at the first discharge of water. Use your eyes rather than your spare hand. No need to subject yourself to bites from spiders or scorpions. Go ahead and close the low side valve. And attach the bypass hose to the bypass valve on the MK3. Bleed air from the bypass hose by opening the bypass valve. And close the bypass valve. Attach the bypass hose from the MK3 to test cock number four. Then fully open test cock number four.
Loosen the low side hose on test cock number three. And once the reading has exceeded the apparent differential pressure across the number one check valve, go ahead and slowly tighten the low side hose on test cock number three. Then open the bypass valve and wait for the PSID reading to stabilize. Record the number two check valve as closed tights if the relief valve stays closed or mark it as leaked if the relief valve opens, ours, ours closed tight. With the bypass hose still connected to test cock four and the high side and bypass valves remaining open, loosen the low side hose once again on test cock number three until the reading exceeds the apparent differential pressure across the number one check valve. Once it has, slowly tighten the low side hose on test cock number three. And once the reading stabilizes, record the reading by pressing the capture button as this gives you the pressure across check valve number one. Once that's concluded, close all the test cocks on the RP. Then we'll need to disconnect our hoses from the assembly. And remove all test equipment. Slowly open shutoff valve number two. And as always, test more backflows with Mako.